Hello, and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're solving lead code problem 332, reconstruct itinerary. You are given a list of airline tickets where tickets of I equals from of I to I, representing the departure and arrival airports from of one flight. Reconstruct the itinerary in order and return it. All the tickets belong to a man who departs from JFK, and thus the itinerary must begin with JFK. If there are multiple valid itineraries, you should return the itinerary that has the smallest lexical order when read from a single string. For example, the itinerary JFK LGA has a small lexical order than JFK LGB, and you should assume all the tickets form at least one valid itinerary, and you must use all the tickets once and only once. <clears throat> so let's look at this first example, which isn't the best one. Um, we have a flight from Munich to London. Uh, we have a flight from JFK to Munich. Uh, we have a flight from San Francisco to San Jose. We have a flight from London Heathrow to SFO. So obviously in this graph, uh, as we can see, there's no flights between each other. So you have to go from JFK to Munich, to Heathrow, to San Francisco, to San Jose. And that's the only path you can take. But in this second example, uh, we have, as you can see from the diagram, a little bit of bi-directionality here. So we have to basically figure out all the paths we can take. So we know that there's a flight from JFK to San Francisco. There's also a flight from JFK to Atlanta. There's a flight from SFO to Atlanta. There's a flight from Atlanta to JFK. And there's a flight from Atlanta to SFO. So the possible combinations here that we could do, we could start at JFK. We could fly to Atlanta. We could then fly back to JFK. We could then fly to San Francisco. We could fly to Atlanta and then fly back to San Francisco. Bit of a strange one, but there is a, another itinerary we could do. And that is starting at JFK. We could then fly to San Francisco. We could fly to Atlanta. We could fly to JFK. We could fly back to Atlanta and then fly to San Francisco and that would complete all of our legs. So as you can see, this is um, you know the first itinerary here that we have. And the reason that we go with this one is because it's actually lexicographically um, first, right? So we obviously always start at JFK, um, but then the second one, SFO versus ATL. ATL comes before SFO technically because A comes before S. So we'd wanna go with this itinerary because it is Unfortunately, we need to have them uh, in lexicographical order. <clears throat> so with those examples out of the way, we haven't really figured out how to solve this problem. We just get an idea of what we need to do and the lexicographical nature. But essentially, as kind of the pictures show you, you're going to want to traverse this as if it's a graph. So we basically need to build a graph, um, which is going to do what? So we're going to have a graph, which is going to take a kind of source to all the destinations uh, you can get from that source. And basically, you know, we, know, we have to start our traversal um, from JFK and basically just go through the graph to kind of each point that we can go and then you know basically traverse the graph um, and eventually we will end up at you know some location and this is our final solution and we'll return the itinerary. Now the problem here is that we have to respect this lexicographical order. We know that all of the tickets form a valid itinerary, so we don't have to worry about our graph search kind of getting caught in an infinite cycle. We just have to use every um, ticket, and we know that we have to have it in the smallest lexicographical order. So this is really just a graph problem, and the crux of this problem is actually building the graph in a way such that you will always use the lexicographically first um, point that you need to travel to. And actually, the way that we're going to do this is simply by sorting all of the tickets such that the um, the smallest point actually comes last in the sort. So that way, when we populate the graph for a destination, it will be in reverse order. So for example, we could have something like SFO. Um, I don't know what's something in the middle like LHR. And then we'd have Atlanta, right? So that way, when we parse through the graph, so let's say we're coming from JFK and these are all the available flights we have from JFK. We, instead of taking usually like we would in a graph problem, starting at the beginning of the destinations, we're actually going to start at the end. So that way we always get the lexicographically smallest um, destination and basically use it up. So we'll pop it from here. And then the next time we need to fly from JFK somewhere, we'll go to London Heathrow 
Um, and then after that, we can only fly to San Francisco and that way we will actually ensure um, this lexicographical ordering and we should be fine. Other than that, it's just a simple depth for search and that's all you need to do. Just sorting it is the way that you actually get it um, to get the correct solution. So now let's go into the code editor, type this up. You'll be surprised at how little uh, lines of code you actually need to do this. All right, let's now type this up. Like we said, we're going to need to build a graph here. So let's say graph and we're going to use default dict list because we need to store a list of the values here uh, for each point. Now we need to actually build a graph by going over the tickets. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to sort the tickets and we're going to do it in reverse order such that um, we always see the lexico lexicographically largest value first. So that way, when we populate our graph, that will actually go in first in each destination. And the smallest value will be at the end. Why we want at the end? Well, we can actually access it uh, easily by getting the last uh, index in the graph in the destination. So, you know, index minus one. And we can also pop that element um, and use that ticket up without having to basically reconstruct the array. Um, so we can easily pop in big O of one time from the graph. Um, once we've used that ticket. So we're going to say for source destination in sorted. So we're going to sort the tickets and we're going to say reverse equals true. So that way it will sort them um, based on the string uh, and it will do it lexicographically. Uh, we're going to say graph of source dot append the destination. <coughs> cool. So now at this point, we have defined our graph. Now we actually just need to traverse the graph and reconstruct the itinerary. So remember that our itinerary must always start at JFK. So we're going to put our starting point in as JFK. And we're going to put this into our stack, um, which we're going to use to actually DFS through here. So uh, we also need a variable for the itinerary. So itinerary, we're going to have an empty list. Now we actually just need to um, traverse the graph. So we're going to say while stack. So <clears throat> while um, there are actually destinations that we can travel um, from our current location in the graph. So basically, so while graph of whatever is at the top of the stack, while we have something in there, uh, we want to basically add those to the stack as places that we need to travel, right? Because if we're going to travel somewhere and use up that itinerary, then we now actually find ourselves in that place. And then we need to actually process that place um, to go further, right? So we're going to say stack .append, uh, graph of whatever is at the top of the stack. And now we can actually just um, we can pop uh, the graph, right? So we're going to append um, to our uh, stack, um, whatever is at the top of the, sorry, oh, this is a tongue twister. So we're going to append to a stack. So basically, what place do we need to travel to? We're going to take whatever the current location is, which is the top of the stack, this minus one, we're going to basically get all the destinations there and pop um, the one at the top because that one is the lexicographically smallest one. And we're going to do this for all the possible places that we can go uh, from JFK or wherever we are uh, in the stack. So whatever stack of minus one is. Then what we need to do is simply say itinerary uh, dot append whatever is at the top of the stack, right? So the top of the stack is we've now left that location. We've gone potentially to all of the places that we can go from there. Um, you know, so from JFK, potentially we've gone to Heathrow, we've gone to Munich, we've gone to wherever else um, we can go from JFK. So at this point, we can consider uh, that we have left JFK. And now we're going to be exploring all the places that we could have gone, um, the, all the destinations that were available for whatever was at the top of the stack. Now, what we need to do is we will basically just do the DFS in here. And once this is done, we will have our itinerary but the itinerary will actually be in reverse because if you think about it, um, we are basically appending to um, the itinerary as we're going along and we actually need to flip it uh, such that we'll have it in the right order. Otherwise, actually JFK will be uh, at the end. So what we want to do is 
we want to simply just return uh, reversed of the itinerary, itinerary, and we should get uh, the correct solution. So if we run this, uh, looks fine. We could submit it, and we are good to go. Cool. So what is the time and space complexity here? So we know that we need to sort our um, tickets here and build the graph. So basically, the time complexity here is going to be big O of E uh, log V, where E is, you know, the edges and V is the vertexes. So basically, E is the the amount of connections between um, two places, and then V is the distinct amount of um, locations that we can actually fly to, and then E is the, the amount of flights um, between each of those locations. So that is going to be um, your time complexity. For the space complexity, obviously, we just need to store uh, the graph. So basically, we're going to be storing all the edges and all the vertices. Um, so the space is going to be E uh, plus V. So that is how you find uh, the itinerary. That's how you solve this problem. A bit of a weird one. Um, definitely took me a while to realize that you needed to sort uh, the tickets to actually get the itinerary to go. I was always getting tripped up on this. But yeah, you need to sort them such that the strings come out in the right way and they need to be smart about actually why you do that so you can pop from the end um, and this is a big O of one operation when you pop from the end of a list um, and that way when you do the DFS you go in the correct order and your solution uh, will be correct and then yeah there's tricky stuff like you need to reverse the itinerary but in terms of the actual code it's relatively straightforward build a graph traverse it um, and you're good to go anyway that's enough blabbing hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did why not leave a like and a comment subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this otherwise i'll see you in the next one